Okay, so I got my shoes on, so now I was all ready to go. Are you ready to go bye ice? Do you want to go bye ice? You want to go to the vet and get your stitches out? All right, let's get your leash. Let's get your leash. You excited? Come on, you ready? <laughs> what? Come on, let's go. Let's go. We're a little bit early. Let's go. <laughs> Hi guys, in here, and today we have a car block. I am on my way to take Nala to the vet to get her stitches out on her ear. I knew she had to go on the 6th, and I kept thinking for the life of me that the 6th was on Tuesday, so I kept telling you guys Tuesday, Tuesday, Tuesday. Now, she goes today, Wednesday morning. It is 9.39. And ever since Nolly see me start getting dressed, she has this anxiety because she knows she's going to leave. <laughs> oh, she just don't know where she's going yet. Today, I'm just going to focus on vlogging and getting things done. So I need to take her to get her stitches out. Then afterwards, I got to drop her off home. Then I have to... What do I have to do? I need to go to ShopRite, and that's the grocery store, and just get a few things. And I want to get things to make a salad because since I haven't been taking my Ozempic anymore, I told you I'm hungry a lot. Like, and, I, and I, I'm a picker, so I figure this way if I have salad, salad's healthy, you know. Do you know she won't even go pee? I took her out on how many times, but she's so excited. So hopefully once we get there, she'll go to the bathroom because there's like grass and stuff there at the vet. I need to either go to Walmart or Target and just get a few things and then that's it. All right, since I have Nala in the car, my Nala poo poo, uh, I'll talk to you once I get to the vet. was my prom 1993 it was called end of the road it was the theme from boys the men end of the road how could you love me and leave me and never say goodbye the end of the road. nala hates my singing and she sees the vet and she's like what the hell's going on we're like uh it's 9 48 the appointment's at 10 so I'm going to get off of here, take her right in the front here, see if she'll have to pee and all that kind of stuff. And, uh, wish me luck. All right, I'll be back after the vet. All right, would you look at my hair? I'm at the vet. They just took Nala. Of course, I had to muzzle her. And they took her into the other room, um, to take the stitches out. So, so good. So far, so good. I love this vet. What does it say? God saw all, I can turn it around, I guess, hold on. God saw all that he had made and it was very good. Genesis 1, 3, 1. And then a lot of it is like hand paintings. It's all paintings all over. It's really cute. All right, so I'll be back once we get into the car. This is probably one of the best visits I ever had. They didn't charge me. And I have to tell you a story about that. But look, I brought the little cup. So on my beauty channel, Just Dan, I'll link it in the description. I always say I'm going to link things and I forget. So if I don't remind me, I did a, a fur lover. It's a dog subscription box. And I had the puppy and Nala. They tried out the treats and all that stuff. So this was one of them. And I think it's so cool. And you do that, the water comes out. I don't know what you can see. Is the water coming out? Oh, I didn't crush it down hard enough. You guys see? And then if they don't drink all the water, you can push the button and the water goes down. How <laughs> She knows what that is. However, I think I wouldn't do that. I would just dump it out because it has saliva, backwash, all that stuff. You want more? I know. Hold on, let me, it's coming out slow. Good girl. You want more? Go ahead. Drink it all. Good girl. She drank almost the whole thing. Okay, sit back now. So, uh, Tyler says, Mom, do you have, get back. Get back. Uh, Tyler goes, Mom, do you have, get back. 
Tyler says, Mom, do you have enough money, you know, to go to the vet and all that? And I was like, yeah, I think so. And um, he was like, well, how much will it be? I was like, well, the office visit's $52, and I don't know how much they charge to take stitches out. He was like, well, Mom, why would they charge you anything when you already paid for the surgery and stuff? And I'm like, well... I said, they charge for everything. I said, just like when, you know, he broke his elbow when he was nine years old and he had to get a cast on. I'm like, you know, you pay for that. And I said, and then when I, when it's time to take your cast off, you go, you pay a doctor's visit, you know, have a copay, you know. Anyway, he goes, well, I'd be mad and I'd say something if I had to pay for another office visit when you already pay, you know, he, he, and, and I'm thinking, he just don't understand. I said, Tyler, how do you think these companies make their money? They charge you for everything. He was like, but you've been there how many times? And, and, and they made so much money. I said, it doesn't matter. So, he was like, I, I don't think they're going to charge you. And I'm like, yeah, they are. Anyway, so, when the lady comes back with Nala, I hear her say, no. And I knew it, because when they grabbed her, I said, be careful, because Nala is fast. She'll take her two paws and do this and take the muzzle off. So they bring her back in the room and the muzzle is still strapped around, but it's right here. Like right before they got to the door, she was able to do that. And she's strong and she's fast and she's smart. Anyway, so she comes back with Nala and uh, she's like, okay, you know, you're free to go. Eh, free to go. That's funny. Anyway, she was like, I don't think they charge anything. She goes, but we'll walk out to the, you know, I'll walk out with you and see. So the, she says to the lady that the, the receptionist, um, she goes, it's no charge, right, for uh, stitch, stitches removal? And she was like, she didn't see the doctor or anything? And the lady goes, no. And she goes, no, nope, it's free. And I'm like, okay. But I'm not going to tell Tyler he was right, you know, unless he asks or something. But if, if she would have seen the doctor, though, even if it's for a second, they would have charged me, you know? But anyway, so that's good. So that's the first. But the day is starting off good already. It is 1024 and it's getting hot out. I think it's like 85 now. All right, so let me get Nala home. And uh, oh, by the way, she peed three times. I knew she would have to go to the bathroom. All right, let me get her home and stuff. And then I will be back. I got to get all situated and then we'll be going to the store and stuff. I'll be back. So, I'm back. Uh, let's see. I think, so there's a few stores that I have to go to. So I think I'm going to go to Target first. Nope. I'm going to go to Walmart first. And then um, I have to go to Target. And then I have to go to PetSmart. And I also have to get Lexi some crickets for her lizard thingy. Um, so Lexi's been working a lot of doubles. So when she's not in school, because usually she'll do school during the day. And then she works 3 to 11. But when she doesn't have school, she'll work her 3 to 11, and then sometimes she'll work um, 11 to, uh, se she'll work till 7 in the morning, and that's what she did today. Um, and then she goes back to work at uh, 3 o'clock today, her shift. So she went home and went to sleep and stuff, and um, I told her, I was like, do you need anything? She's like, can you get me crickets? And of course, I mean, she needs her sleep, and she's been working. I don't mind as long as she's working now. She had off today. Then I'm like, no, you can get your crickets yourself because I don't like crickets. And then I got to put them in the cricket thing. And then, you know, I, I refuse to give Gucci, which is her lizard, the crickets because I'm scared. So I have to do that. And I don't want to get the crickets and then it's hot out and go in the store. So that'll be my last stop. Anyway, my point is Target and PetSmart are in the same plaza. You guys are probably like so sick of me. <laughs> Walmart, ShopRite. Oh, I gotta go to ShopRite. But I'll still go to um, the pet store last because of the crickets. But I, And I'm not getting a lot of ShopRite either, so. I figured I'll get everything done today. All my ripping and running and all that kind of stuff. And then um, I can focus on the week. Like, I want to go different places. I think one day this week. I'm not sure, but definitely it's going to happen uh, very soon. Um, I, I like to go to Atlantic City. Well, it's really called Maze Landing. It's by right outside skirts. Like Pleasantville, Maze Landing is like the outside skirts of Atlantic City, New Jersey. And that's where uh, the East Coast Strangler and the motel, well, they, they uh, ripped down the, hotel, the motel. But I, I want to go there. And because I know that case like the back of my hand, 
I like to go there um, and then just like show you the actual scenes where the victims were found, what he did, where the motels were, what the surroundings were, and tell you about it a little bit. Um, I want to do some videos like that as well, things that happen in Jersey, especially South Jersey. I cannot do anything that, ha that has to do with a child. Um, it just, I cannot, unless maybe the ch it's a missing case. I can handle that, but I know if the child it died or was killed, I cannot handle that. Not with the, I, I can't do that. But other than that, I want to do that here and there, you know. I think that would be fun. So I do have that planned. And then, then I'm going to go to Atlantic City and just walk the beach and the boardwalk, which will, I'll put that in a different vlog, of course. You know, and like like I said, I want to go places. I mean, I'll still do my blogging because I'm always I always have to rip and run and do errands. But I also want to take you around and show you what South Jersey looks like because I think it's absolutely beautiful. And the one thing that we're lucky, and I just thought it was like that all over, is that um, every a lot of things are free. And I know even like when I take my dog to the dog park, you guys, some of you guys tell me like you have to pay for that. I'm like you do. I'm like, that's why we pay taxes, but you know, it's like crazy to me. So I'm very lucky and you know, I just want to take you, um, different places and stuff like that. I think should I get gas now? I'll, I'll wait. No, I'm passing the gas station. <laughs> I'm very undecisive today. Uh, I think I'll go to the gas station first to the Wawa. I, um, I was on the phone to like 3.30 in the morning, almost four in the morning talking to my friend Lisa. And we always, and not, nothing like happened. It's just, I'm a night owl, she's a night owl, and we usually talk on the phone. <laughs> and, but the, a lot of times she can sleep in, but I, I still had to get up, so I barely slept because I set my alarm for 7.07, .07, so I can get up, have my coffee, all of that stuff. So it's like I'm, uh, you know, I'm an overthinker anyway, but my mind's really like today, you know? My, one of my aunts is going to come down this week and um, we're going to make a video and just talk about like, you know, old times and um, things we experience. One of them will be a, a trigger warning that maybe some of you guys may not want to watch, but just what we experienced with my grandfather, her stepfather. Um, And just you know reminiscing and things like that and, and just so that you guys can meet my family you know I think that would be fun I don't know I also have to pick Vern up this week the boys in a haircut so I want to do like a little video with you guys actually seeing him I uh, 20 is super yeah I know I tell you guys all the time, but I still get people to ask me. Um, in Jersey, we do not pump our own gas. We're not even allowed to if we want it to. Um, they do it, and they get paid pretty well. And it's usually like younger kids or like college kids or kids that just graduated from high school or like a, an elderly person. Not an elderly person, but maybe a retired person that just wants to work or something like that. Um, but they get paid like 17, 18 dollars an hour maybe even more pretty good um but then again like they're outside in the cold in the snow in the rain there is a covering so they don't get rained on but in the heat you know oh god that's terrible i couldn't do it i would die um but anyway yeah and then a lot of times like i always get asked do we tip them no i mean i guess you could but that that's their job that's what they get paid to do um but yeah, uh, I didn't realize that Jersey in another state, I think it's, I say Ohio, I think it's Ohio that doesn't have to pump their own gas. I always get it wrong. I know the state starts with an O, I believe. Um, we're the only two left that don't have to pump our own gas. Thank you so much. Let's see how much that gave me. I had 93 miles, now I'm up to 210. Okay. And super is uh, 437 a gallon, so went down a lot. Regular is only 369, so. Okay, so now I go to Walmart. I'm gonna try my hardest not to go to the clearance aisle, but I can't help it.
You know, it's going to be nice because kids start um, back to school today on the 6th. And so it's going to be so nice to go to the stores and not have any of these crying kids and screaming kids or, you know, around. Um, it's just going to be weird and different. You know, I say that, but I like to hear the sound. Like, you know, the one thing I do miss about living in the projects or any apartments or anything like that is it used to bother me hearing kids outside playing and this and it's like you never got any peace but I miss that it something about just hearing kids laughter and happy and fun and it's like it's there it's life you know um then like silence it's so weird like it's like I always wish I can't wait I can't wait but now it's something that I really miss you know um I don't think I can go to sleep where it's in the country or where maybe residential where it's real quiet. I mean, I'm not saying like you get used to gunshots and all that because now where I live, you know, you do, you do have some, of course, like stupid people, but like, um, you know, you always hear like the truck, it's just always noise and, um, I don't know. Not like New York, um, but like you hear noise. I live in the city area, and I, I don't know if I can handle quiet, you know? Um, let me know how you are. Do you like city living, or do you like quiet and peace? And let me know down below. All right, I need to find a parking spot where I won't forget where I parked at. I haven't been to the dollar store in forever. One day I want to go there just to see what they have. Maybe I'll go there today. I don't know what my problem is. It ain't like I have money to spend or to spare. Trust me. It's just, I'm in just one of those moods. I don't know why. You know, I just like the fact that I get to go out and I don't have somebody in my ear. Oh, it's such a blessing. You just don't even know. I mean, like I said, my soon-to-be ex, you know, it's like, I let's say I went to the clearance aisle and got some dishes. Let's say they were 50 cents a piece or a quarter, whatever. You know, it's like I always heard, well, why'd you get that? Well, if you had $10, uh, you, you could have did this with it, or we could have got uh, grass seed, or I, I don't know. I'm just making stuff up. Like, do, you know what I mean? It's like I always heard heard his mouth if I went to the grocery store and let's say I'm like god do we need bread and so I just buy a loaf of bread but maybe at home we still had a half a loaf he was like why'd you get bread we already had bread instead of like oh great thanks because <laughs> I ain't like he ever paid for it you know it's like stuff like that like I would come home and spend hundreds of dollars at the grocery store and come home and he would help carry the stuff in don't get me wrong him and the boys would carry the stuff in now, Isaiah, if Isaiah was home, he would help me, like, get the stuff out of the bags and stuff. And he would just sit there and be like, why, why do you, or how much was that? Or, you know, or is let's say because I got it at Walmart, you know, and I didn't get it at BJ's or um, Sam's Club or something like that, like detergent or something. If he's seen it cheaper, he's like, well, how much was that? And it's like, I don't understand. I thought, okay, so I paid... 30 40 cents more but I would have to put that in the gas to get all the way to the store that's like 20 minutes away I don't know but the point is like even though he never paid for it he, he just always had something to say um and it's just nice now that I can go to the store get whatever I want or like even decorate and when he met me every like three years I used to change my furniture like get brand new living room furniture and stuff now is that excessive maybe maybe not but I just enjoyed changing up I, and that's because I suffer from depression and different things so it's like I, I just and now you guys are seeing a little bit how my mind's always going and all that stuff and or let's just say I got a, a different um like one of the fake plants, because I am do, do not have a green thumb, so, you know. Uh, it's like, well, why'd you get that? Or why'd you spend $60 on that when you could have put it on that? Like, do you, you understand what I'm saying? So I got to the point where then I just didn't decorate. I didn't buy new things. And that also made me depressed because that's not who I am, you know? But it was better than hearing his mouth, you know? And, um... I, I never understood that. I'm like, if the, if the bills are being paid... And I want, and if I choose to buy something, who cares if I want to get different living, like couch, like for my sofa, different pillows for the sofa? Who cares? Like, you know. But it, he, I'm telling you, it's like he was jealous 
that maybe I had money and he didn't. I, I, I don't know what it was. And I'm, you know, just surmising, but it's, it was weird. And it is a very nice feeling. It is. So, anywho, enough about that. Let's go into Walmart and let's go, let's do some shopping. I have to remember to get juice I do, and, and water. I need some water bottles. Okay, I'll be back. Halloween is starting. Look at the little hay things for the front porch. I might buy some of these. Not today, but I've never seen them here at Walmart. Let's see how the picture shows. Oh, that would look so cute. Because I don't do Halloween, but I do like fall stuff. Like this type of stuff. How much is this? Is this is only $7 too? Oh, yeah. Okay, I want to show you what I got in the cart so far. Look. But this is almond oil, and this is really good for your hair. And I always put this like on the uh, ends of my hair works really really good um, I got my hair dyeing ultimate black I got a few let me see here I got this necklace and I got these and then right there because you know I'm a silver person then I got these because these are a little bit bigger than that and then I got this shampoo and conditioner. I got a sample in like uh, the Walmart beauty box or somewhere, I can't remember, and I really liked it, so I got this. It smells good too. I got my toothpaste. And then these pajama pants were all just $3. They're on clearance. The only thing is, it's two and three X, so they're very big, but for $3, I can make it work because it comes with a drawstring. So I was only to find a couple in the large, these. So I got a, a few of them for me and Lexi. And then it's fall time. Like I said before, I do not celebrate like Halloween, but I got this for the door. Let me see. Far away where you guys can see it. I don't know what you guys can say, but I think it's absolutely gorgeous. Oh, you should, the sparkle, in real life, it's very pretty. And then I got three of these for the porch, and then a couple of, I got three, and then one back here, of the scarecrows to decorate my porch. And then I figure I'll go to the dollar store and see if they have like the pumpkins I could sit outside because they're too expensive here and I can just get them right at the dollar store. Now watch me find a wreath because this was, I think, $24.99. Watch me find a wreath that's really pretty only for a dollar. But this was the last one they had of this one. They had other ones, but it had like white pumpkins and stuff on it, but I, I like this. So, my luck, I'll try to go back and get it and they won't have it, so. All right, I'll be back. All right, I gotta get Isaiah. Where is it? Dry to normal? No, don't tell me they don't have his for oily. Cause he needs combination of oily, but they don't have it. Oh, yes they do. They only have a small one. Oh, here's a big one. See, it's $16.54 here, but the small one is $12.47. This one here is $13.97. I'll get him the big one. Because on my beauty channel, I did the Walmart beauty box, and um, it was saying it was like 11 bucks. I'm like, it ain't 11 bucks where I live. But that was new. It had like fragrance free and stuff, which is really good for sensitive skin. All right, I gotta remember, what else did I say you needed? Juice, water bottles. I can't remember for the life of me. All right, so I'm getting this as body oil. I always use body oil like the gel for my knees, my legs, my elbows. I usually use Vaseline has a really good body oil, but I don't see it like at all. That's like my favorite. Um, this one's good too. I just don't care for the scent too much. I usually go in with the oil and then I'll go in with um, some lotion. But, um, oh man, I don't see it. So I haven't tried this kind yet, so I'm gonna try and see how it is. I use this at nighttime, you know, cause 
I gotta get all nice and soft and all that. So when I meet my new man, maybe a sugar daddy, I don't know. It won't be for a long time. I have plenty of time to get my skin looking good because it's not gonna probably be for another year or two. But I can start now. All right, let me finish getting what I gotta get. I ran into somebody, I didn't know her, but we talked for like 20 minutes just about church and she's on her 10th grandkid and her youngest who just turned 40 is um, due with her seventh kid due October 4th. I'm like, wow, what a blessing. And so she was saying that she dropped her grandson who's in fourth grade off of his first day of school today. And I was like, oh, I miss those times. So, all right, let's see what else we can get getting hot out. <laughs> what do you see? I went a little overboard. I spent $247. It's not planned. But let me show you what Lexi showed me. I did not know I could start my car up with my keychain here. Hold on. Let me show you. See if I can do it again. Anyway, let me just show you. That's everything that I got. But it's like decorations and um, these are like small pillows to put in front of those big pillows. Remember I found on clearance? And I had to get my coffee because I got this pumpkin spice from Starbucks coffee um, and it just ain't doing it. I gotta get back to my death wish. But that's just what I got really quickly. All right, let's see. All right, so I have to lock it and then hold this down. Nope, I popped the trunk. That's not it. Let me try it again. Oh, it's not working. And he showed me, he said, just ho put, hold the hold button. Maybe I'm too close to the car. I don't know. We'll try. Oh, I did it. It worked. How cool is that? Now I have the AC on. And of course, I didn't bring bags, but I do have bags in the car. All right, so let me get the bags, get that in the car, and I'll be back. All right, I'm sweating. I am sweating. Right now, it's reading 101 out. And um, I think the lady said, one of the ladies said it's supposed to go to 103 today. You know, we ain't used to this in Jersey. Like, in September, it's still a little warm, but you know. All right, I think I told you how much I spent. And that's just because I got um, some decorations for the outside and everything. Because this is the first year that I'm actually decorating outside for fall. Like, I cannot wait for Christmas to have lights and everything around the house. I'll do it myself if I have to. I never d was able to do it, you know. So, uh, I'm happy. So, I spent $247.12. And the one lady was like, do you have Facebook? I was like, yeah, but I never go on it. And she's like, if you go on Marketplace, those hay things that you can get them for free. Because they were like $7.98 a piece. So like eight bucks for one, I got three of them. So that was what, $24 right there, $25. And then the um, scarecrows were $7.98 or $8 a piece. I got three of them. So that was $50 just for that. And then I got a few other things. And then you guys know downstairs. So I've really been into the color blue because that was my mom's favorite color. But she liked baby blue. So I'm doing like, you see the wall colors, it's like a bluish grayish purple, kind of like, I don't know, I can't explain it. And then um, I have, we have wall to wall carpeting, which is like cream or beige, I don't know. And then we have like area rugs that have the cream, the same color that's in the, uh, the carpet. I mean, I couldn't get, I couldn't try that again if I wanted to, it was like perfect. And then we have like a navy blue in it and all that stuff to kind of go with it. And then, you know, I got some pillows, throw pillows, because my furniture is like a, a medium to dark gray. But I was thinking, so I need an accent color. So I was thinking about getting gold, like maybe, uh, so I have those big um, uh, throw pillows. Maybe if I get gold, like smaller ones and start accenting, because we need a pop of color. Even though like the navy blue, kind of like goes with the lighter blue but I, I need some color in my life so what do you guys think what do you guys think is a good color to go with like blues do you think gold I don't want to do silver or anything like that um and like I said my furniture and everything is gray so 
Yeah, I think gold would be nice, but let me know what you think. What color would you pick? Okay, so now I'm going to go, the dollar store is right in this plaza, and I'm only going to look to see if there's any pumpkins like to put outside. Nothing to decorate inside the house, um, because I don't do Halloween, I do fall, and that'll last for a while, so I could do that another time. I just want to, because I know how I am, as soon as I get it, I'm going to want to go home and decorate the porch, so I want to have everything together, and if I don't find any pumpkins, the scarecrow and hay is fine, but I just think that would make it look a little bit better, you know? And then, I mean, it's only the first day I'm decorating. So, you know, I'll, as time goes on, I'll get um, more stuff. I'll show you in there what our Dollar Tree looks like. We have a Jackie, a jacked up Dollar Tree. I don't even know how it stays open. I never see anybody going in here. Let's see what we can find. Let's do this. So they have a lot of stuff for like Halloween and stuff. This is really good for like crafting, people that um, do DIYs and stuff. Um, but yeah, a lot of things is Halloween based. One lady said they're having a big truck come tomorrow with a lot of stuff, but yeah, I don't, I don't want Halloween. All right, so here's some fall. And then back all the way over here to here, that's all Halloween. Oh, here's some pumpkins. All right, let me see what I can find and I'll be back. Here's some, I mean, this is like a DIY, a crafter's dream. Like all of this, this right here, that was on the reef. I mean, only for a dollar. So I bet you if you know what you were doing, you can make your own reefs and make it look beautiful. Well, look at the owls. My grandmother loved owls. All right, here's some more um, different things. And over here. Oh, these are nice. These are like decorated too. They're 30 count um, LED leaf lights. Five dollars? I thought it, are things more than, I know we went to a dollar 25, but now do we have five dollar things? What in the world? Now, the problem that I'm having, there's a whole bunch of pumpkins, but they're like styrofoam, too lightweight that they'll blow away. We had a lot of storms in Jersey. I might have to get like regular pumpkins to put out there that are heavy. All right, really nice stuff though. Wow, look at that. This is beautiful. All right, I'll be back guys. Here's some more um, really cute stuff. You're looking for Halloween. Really pretty. Here's that like a snack bowl. Oh yeah. Got some stuff for your door. All right, I'm back. I look a hot mess. I'm getting ready to clean up my face in a second. Let me get some hand sanitizer. So I spent twenty-five fifty-seven in there because some of the things I got were three dollars. I'm gonna show you what I got real quick. So we'll do like a little Dollar Tree haul. I have the air on and I have it on high right now because it's hot in this car. Let me get myself together. I'm gonna just take this off and put some lip oil on because it looks a hot mess. I got this uh, Fenty Beauty. I think this is in the shade Fuzzy. Just put something on for now. But it's over 100 degrees out and I have jeans on because you know I was out since this morning and stuff so I'm getting hot I don't know what I was thinking I know I have bags in the car but it was so much little stuff I, I, I didn't want to carry so I had to get a bag dollar 25 but it's cute but it's small so where my dining room is and um, my kitchen um, if I can remember I'll, I'll put a little video up here so you can see it there's like a little shelf there and I didn't know what to put it so right now when I did a Timu haul a month a while back months ago I got these like little um, plants they're tiny and so I just put them up there so it didn't look so empty and it kind of looks funny because it's like green it just looks funny you know but it, it looks better than being bare and the height, it's the shelf is so close to the ceiling, so you can't get stuff that are real tall. You have to have small stuff. So I found a bunch of stuff that I thought, okay, I can kind of do it like little fall thingies. So they had a bunch of like these. These were $3, but they had ones with legs. They only had three left. 
so I got them. And there were three different ones, which is good. So like I can, I think it'll be cute me having it sit on the shelf like this. So I got this, this one, um, and then this one has a little hat like this. So it's a little different, but I'll, I'll put this, you know, I'll figure it out. And these are the only three that were left, so I, they must be very popular. And then I got me some toothbrushes. You guys know I'm always getting toothbrushes. So I got them. And then I got a bunch of like, these are like styrofoam. Um, and then I got like metallic. Um, I got green. I got this kind. And this is, you could definitely tell this is styrofoam underneath there. Um, then you have like squash. There's like a white one. These are all $1.25. Um, we have this one. So it's a, but you know, a couple more. And I, they were only $1.25. And I say only, but like I can figure out more, you know. And I, I figure we'll see how it looks. I didn't know what looks best. I mean, the colors don't match like with my wall, but I, I don't, you guys, I showed you like the update of the house. I really don't have anything. I still got to get curtains, but you know, I guess like fall theme won't look so bad. It'll look a lot better than those like plants. Not that the plants are stupid or ugly. It just doesn't look right there. If that makes sense. So, all right, that's all. Now I got to go, I got to go to Target first. What do I have to get at Target? I forget. I forget. You know what? I never got dish detergent. So I need to go to Target. Oh, to get Isaiah's milk. Then I gotta go. Maybe I'll go to Target. No, no, no. I'll go to ShopRite first because I'm not getting meat. Oh, but I gotta get ice cream. I don't know what to do. I gotta go to PetSmart last because I'm getting the crickets and I don't want them to die. But if I get milk and that sits in the car. Okay, so I'll go to Target first. I know what I'm going to do because the milk won't be too bad. I, I'm just going to, oh, I don't know. I don't know what to do. I'm going to go to ShopRite first because ShopRite is over on the corner. Then you have Target and then PetSmart's on the same side. I mean, that just makes sense. So I'm only getting a few things at ShopRite and the ice cream. I mean, it's going to, you know, I, I don't know. Maybe I'll just wait to get ice cream. I can always go back out and get ice cream. It's for Tyler. He likes the, uh, Double Dunker something ice cream. I don't know. It's by Turkey Hill. It's like mocha ice cream. And so I, I don't know. He likes that. So, and of course, I know I got to stop at Wawa, see if they have any Double Dutch, but it's 1231 now. So I doubt they're going to have any in. I mean, I could always just lie to them and say they didn't have any, but I don't like to lie. It, I, it, uh, I just don't. I start smiling. Like you can tell when I'm lying. That's why I could never be a cheater because I would tell on myself. You know what I mean? You'd say, oh, you know, were you out with your friends? And I'd be like, yes. <laughs> you know, you'd be able to tell because I get nervous. Let me know where you're at, what the weather's been like. Has it cooled off for you? Like, I know you guys that live in Arizona and Texas and all that. I know it's still hot, but is it, like, cooling down for you? And then let me know, do you guys, like, decorate for fall? I used to before never really do holidays. I don't do Halloween, and it's not because, like, oh, I, I have something against Halloween. That's not it. It's not a religious thing. It's just with Isaiah, he was always scared. Like, you know, like when you're in school and when you're younger, they would have parties and you can dress up. He never wanted to go to school that day. If we went to Walmart or something, he was scared of the skeletons. And, like, so he always chose he never wanted to dress up for Halloween. So I never celebrated because he didn't like all that stuff, blood, gore, or even just like skeletons and stuff. Like he would literally scream and run. So, um, you know, it would traumatize, you know? And so I just, I mean, uh, he's 19. So I, for so many years, I just never de decorated for Halloween. So I'm, um, you know, it's just, I don't celebrate Halloween. I mean, he didn't even want to go out, a kid. Never even wanted to go out trick-or-treating. So I do like more fall, you know? I'm getting hungry. I can feel my sugar dropping a little bit. I had a bagel before I left, but I can uh, feel my sugar dropping from sweating and different things like that. <sighs> I 
wish like you could snap your fingers and I wasn't diabetic. I hate it. I was, I've been diagnosed since I was 18 and it's like, I never took care of myself. So I, I get it, but I, I, it, it's just, it's not fun sometimes. It's not fun. And, oh, I do have, um, I bought at Walmart peanut butter crackers. Oh, uh, you know what? I can go in my trunk and get some, um, that's what I'll do. I do want to go to Wendy's and get my, no, I, what am I talking about? See what's wrong with me? I'm not thinking correctly. Uh, I'm going to shop right to get the stuff to make salads. There's like no friggin' park and I would think everybody was like home or at work because the kids are back in school today. But everybody has the same idea I do. No kids, I can finally go shopping and go in peace by myself. All right, let's go in here. I'll be back. I, I remember bags. I gotta get a bag out of my trunk. I remember. Okay, so it's now 101. I'm gonna keep telling you because I, I, I'm a complainer. Oh my goodness, this went everywhere. Well, all over my pants. It looks like I peed myself. Oh my god, what was I thinking? You know what? I'm gonna t I'm gonna put it in my thumbnail. Uh, if you made it this far, uh, just put a happy face, a smile emoji. Uh, but that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to title it like this, and I'm going to put, what was I thinking? Because it's like, what was I thinking? Going out in 100 degree weather to rip and run. But you know what I was thinking, too? Um, I forgot. I could leave my car running because I got the ice cream, and, and I put it right in here. Um, I could leave my car running as long as the doors are locked and um, keep the air on while I'm in Target and PetSmart. That way the, oh, there's an ambulance. That way the um, ice cream don't melt. Well, like, don't melt as much. You know what I mean? I mean, it is exactly 1 o'clock on the dot. You know, between 1 and 3 is like the hottest of the day. And I'm over here like just... Taking my time, uh, getting stuff for the outs for decoration when I should have just went and got everything I needed, took it home, and then went back out and get out because it's getting hot. And I have jeans on. Oh, I hope nobody had a heat stroke or anything that just breaks my heart because there's no cops. It's, it's ambulance and they're going inside Walmart. I mean, uh, inside shop, right? Oh. So, Target, PetSmart, and we are done. I am not doing no walk and talk today. You know I'm not. I'll be back. So, I spent $43 and change, so almost $44. I only got a little bit of stuff, but Isaiah's chocolate milk is $5 a piece, and I got two of them. And I don't know if I told you a shot right, I spent $89 and change, so about $90. Bucks. So, $90 and then $45 here. $25 at the dollar store and well, almost $250 at Walmart. Well, we spent almost $400. Oh, the car's not running. Why is the car not on? Oh no, and I was taking my time. Oh, maybe because the key, you have to be in the area. Oh my God, everything's melted. I gotta go, guys. That was so dumb. I forgot that, you know, with the key, the sensor, you know what I mean? It only goes by so far, so the car probably shut off. I don't know how far, how long it's been. The bags are rare, so the ice cream's probably like water. So since I'm right here, I'm just gonna run in real quick because I'm just getting crickets. And I'll get the crickets, and then, it's already melted the ice cream. I'll go home, and then when Tyler's off of work, he can either go back out and get the milk and double dutch, if they even have any, or, I'll go back out later, you know what I mean? Because it's 1.30 and Tyler don't get done work till like 4 or 4.30 anyway. So like, I'll just go back out. Oh my God, I'm so stupid. I'm like, oh, I can take my time. I was looking at like um, deep deco decor, you know, and stuff for like furniture, you know, like living room and stuff, just looking, window shopping, you know? Ugh. I think I can leave this one though going through because the crickets is right in the front. I don't know. I'm gonna try it again, but like I said, I'm gonna be in and out, so it doesn't matter anyway, but. Ugh, oh, I'm so mad at myself. I would've just went and got, okay. All right, anyway, I gotta get off of that. All right, I am sweating and I'm just gonna keep complaining how hot it is and I feel sticky and all that kind of stuff. So, 
I know you guys don't want to hear me sitting here complaining. I will come back. I'm getting ready to park when I get those crickets. The things I do for my children, I'll tell you. You know what I'm saying? All right. So I spent, I got 15 of these crickets right there. Look at that. Ooh. Um, and they're $17 a piece because I mean $17 can you imagine 17 cents a piece because I got I get the large ones I don't know how many get to get um, and I think it came to $2 and 55 cents or something like that my goodness all right I'm gonna get off of here I'm gonna go home bring everything home and relax because your girl has been up and out of the house since 9 30 this morning and it is 1 36 um, and I've been up early, only had a few hours of sleep, and I'm getting very cranky and complainy. It's probably because I'm hot. So I'm just going to say my goodbyes and now. Please like this video. It really does help me out or dislike it. The house mount as well. Leave a comment. That really does help out with engagement. It would mean the absolute world to me if you could do that. Stay beautiful. Stay blessed. Stay healthy. And most importantly, always stay you. And I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys. All right, let's get the hell home. Yes, yes, yes. And now I want a salad, per usual. It's probably why I'm cranky. My sugar's dropping. I'm hot. I'm tired. Nothing that a little salad can't do for me. And maybe a little bit of ice cream. I don't know.